Light is everything in photography, and exposure is simply the amount of light that you let into your camera. Or in formal definition, exposure is the amount of light that reaches the camera's sensor to record the image. The amazing thing with any camera is that you have control on how exposed you want your image to be, regardless of lighting conditions. You can turn a dark scene a little brighter and a bright scene a little darker. You control this using the combination of three camera settings, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. You might have heard of the exposure triangle. Exposure triangle is the photography term that describes the relationship between the three elements that determine the exposure of a photo, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. The way these three factors are balanced determines the final appearance of a shot and the feelings it evokes. Looking at my camera here, when I press the display button, I can see my aperture number here, my shutter speed, and ISO. When I adjust each setting, it also changes the overall look of my photos. I know you still have lots of buttons on your camera that need demystifying, so I created a whole class especially for that. You can access this class plus 35,000 classes taught by amazing creators and photographers around the world starting with a one month free. I added the 30 days free link in the description below. My top tip is to learn one setting at a time. I use manual mode 90% of the time and I encourage you to really practice it. But if ever it gets overwhelming, start with the priority modes. Decide what your creative priority for the photograph is. Is it the magical blur or the freezing of time? From there, you can choose which priority mode to shoot on. Observe the settings that your camera chooses to match your setting to familiarize yourself. From here, you can slowly but surely ease into manual mode where you set the aperture, shutter speed, and ISO yourself. Before you know it, operating your camera and shooting in manual mode is second nature to you. That is it for this video. If you have any questions or if you tried any of these tips, please comment below. If you want to request a video or any photography-related tutorial, just let me know through the comment section too. That's the thing, my channel is very small, so let's take advantage of our intimate community. You can help me too by liking and subscribing, plus you'll be the first to know when I upload photography videos and tutorials. I hope you enjoyed all of that, and I hope to see you in my other videos. Bye!